Today I'm in a garage. Um, I wanted to highlight a problem that we are experiencing that if you're in the irrigation world or you have uh, your own irrigation you manage, you may end up running into this. And um, we've run into it a couple times and it's time to do a video. So here's what's going on. Uh, we installed this Rashio Gen 3 about six years ago. The customer said that he was having issues with it just going offline. Nothing had changed with the Wi-Fi. Um, and it was going offline in the sense that it would just go blank on this bar. And if you know ratios, you know that this bar will be lit up blue if everything's good. So it would go offline and then uh, it acted like there was no power to it. And then he would come out here, unplug it, plug it back in, and it would work just fine for a month, uh, sometimes two months or a day. So you can see not very reliable in that sense. Uh, so he did replace the outlet and it's still doing it. So I called Rashio customer support and we love their product. Um, we've had a few that have done this. And what we found with their help is to one, check the Wi-Fi reading. So it needs to be between negative 65 and negative 45, they said. Um, over time, I guess, if it's outside of that range, it can be an issue. Um, the other thing is to replace the outlet so not the actual electrical outlet, but the plug. So I would go ahead and if you can get one from Rashio, that way you know it's the exact same one. Um, this customer got one from Amazon and he said it worked for a while, but then it stopped. So I would probably just get one from Rashio if you can. And then they said if none of this fixes the, the problem, the, the last case would be actually that there's a failure with the controller somewhere. Um, so in this situation, that's what I have. And unfortunately, I have to replace it. Uh, it is going to be warrantied, so uh, we got to deal with that. But um, it is it is fail failing, so it won't be reliable. I've had, like I said, a few that have done this, and unfortunately, it looks like we're just going to have to replace them. But out of the hundreds, at least 500 in the last six years we've installed, um, we've had maybe five that have done this. So. Not terrible, but definitely something to keep an eye on. But if this is something you run into, uh, take those steps. Check Wi-Fi, check the outlet, check the plug. And then if it keeps doing it, you will have to replace it, unfortunately. So hope this helps you.